The S12 Pros are here. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love this pump. I'm just gonna come out and say it. These are my favorite Mom Cozy pumps. And that says a lot because I really loved my Mom Cozy S12s. And so the S12 Pros, oh my goodness. They just kind of fixed all the little issues. I'm gonna start by just saying some of the highlights about this Pro version. First, the battery life. It charges in an hour and a half and then it goes 140 minutes of pumping. So for most of us, we'll probably only have to charge this once a day even if we are pumping all day. That is huge for us busy moms. Now also the phalanges are double sealed. So really you are not gonna have leaking problems. I haven't had any at all. I haven't heard about anybody who's had any at all. These phalanges, they're on their tights. I love how this top is different. So on the original version, it's sealed to the motor using a silicone ring and people kind of had issues with that. Sometimes it would get dirty, milk would get under it, it would wear out, you had to replace it. And so for this one, it just snaps on using this one hole and it actually makes a noise when it snaps on. Hear that? So you know when it's actually on. They also chilled out the suction a little bit. It's still a really strong pump, but I know for some mamas with the S12s, even on level one, it was just too much for them. It was uncomfortable or painful. This one is much more gentle. The original S12s did work for me, but I only used it on levels two or three. On the pro version, I use levels three or four, and it does feel more gentle and more comfortable. All right, let's talk assembly. Put your valve up here. Attach your duck bill. Then you suction this to the top of your milk container. Now you take your phalange and where the writing is, that's the top, and you line it up with this center hole. Push it in, and then you're gonna need to go all around the pump and individually kind of suction it on because it is double sealed it just takes an extra like couple seconds to do this compared to the original version and i think it's worth it if it's going to prevent leaks i'm going to take my motor i'm going to line it up with this raised part right here and hear it click in just like that here is how to pump with your mom cozy s12 pros hold down the power button long hold and then it's starting in combination mode, I would probably switch it to massage mode. So that's the one with the heart. If you wanna to switch to expression, it's this top button here, and that's the teardrop one. There is a combination mode, and it has short pulls and then a long pull. I personally was not terribly into the combination mode, so I just did two minutes on massage mode and then it did expression. I love the digital screen on this pump because it'll tell you how long you've been pumping in addition to what level and mode you're on. But after you've been pumping a little bit, the screen will turn off. So I'm not sure if that's to like save battery or anything. That's just something interesting about this pump. It'll keep pumping and everything, but the screen will just turn off. So if you want to see the screen, you just press this tap button and then the screen will pop back up. Your pumps will auto shut off after 30 minutes, but you can of course stop it earlier when you're done pumping. Just pop off your motor and you can pour out of this hole right here and just pour it into a bottle. Sometimes if I see a little extra milk in the container, I'll just pop this off, pour that in, but you don't have to. Most of the time it'll all pour out just fine up here. Okay, let's talk tips and troubleshooting. It's of course super important to have your nipple in the middle. You can kind of grab your boob like this, place your pump on, and then pull your nursing bra up over it. You can also kind of roll it on to make sure that your nipple's in the middle. If your nipple's hitting the side or just not in the center at all, you're not gonna get milk, which is just super frustrating. So if you sense milk isn't coming out on one side, definitely just readjust. You also need this to be flat on your breast, if that makes sense. So if it's tilted like this, you're not gonna get proper suction. You need it really solid on there. If it's just keeps sliding like that, maybe you need to tighten your nursing bra. The nursing bras I like, I like these um, kind of full coverage sports bra like nursing bras. I'll link my favorites in the description box. They're just from Amazon. But I think most nursing bras would work. 
sports bras would work bras that wouldn't work anything with underwire or padding just wouldn't work well it's also important that you have the right size shield to get good output and to not be in pain so if you need a size smaller than what mom cozy carries you can get an insert just to put in there there's lots of information out there about breast pump shield sizing so i would definitely look into that if you're getting low output or having some sort of pain if no milk is coming out i would check your parts are you feeling you know a suction maybe um your valve isn't on right maybe your duck bill isn't on right make sure your duck bill is straight like this if it's facing the other way and it's distorted, you're not gonna get a good suction. So I would check your duck bill, check all your parts. If you're spilling milk, I would think that maybe this is just not on right, and so check that. Make sure you really wrap it all the way around. With these mom cozies, you have a lot of mobility, but you have to stay somewhat upright. You can bend slightly, but you can't bend all the way over. You definitely can't do like yoga or anything. If you need to pick up a kid or something, just try to stay upright while you bend down and pick them up. If you need to pick something up off the floor, same thing, just try to stay kind of upright and bend. <laughs> to make sure that you don't spill any milk when you take them off, lean forward as you take it off and just kind of roll it off. Sometimes there is a little milk still in the center when you first take it off. And so just to make sure that that goes into the milk container, if you roll it off and then hold it like this, you can even kind of tilt it down afterwards. That will help with that. I personally really like doing the fridge hack. I know different moms feel different ways about it, but basically if I have three pumps in my work day, I just pop off this motor, then I'll stick my two cups in a bowl, come back, grab them the next pump. At the end of the day, give them a good solid scrub, but in between pumps, the cups just stay in the fridge, so hopefully no bacteria grows. I know that's not recommended for NICU babies, but that's something that I like doing. I am able to get the same output as I would my traditional plug-in pump using my S12 Pros, if not a little more. Um, but I do have to wear these a little bit longer, so maybe even an extra five minutes just to get completely emptied. That's true for me, and I think for most of us with all wearable pumps, you just have to wear them a little bit longer than you do a traditional pump. When it comes to cleaning, I found these are pretty easy to clean, but from time to time, I like to run them through the dishwasher and they've done fine. I just put them in a dishwasher bag, all the parts in there, and you can put your dishwasher on sterilize if your dishwasher has that feature. And that's just an easy way to get a deep clean on your parts. Okay, that's it for my video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have the S12 Pro, if you're thinking about getting it, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I try to be really good about answering everyone's questions that I can. I do have a coupon code for the Mom Cozy store, so be sure to check that out in the description box. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I would love if you subscribed if you are new, and I will see you in my next video.